Hey guys, so yep, um, today I actually really want to talk to you guys pretty much about the importance of pedigree. Again, <laughs> why it matters so, so much. Just because uh, lots of you guys are actually asking me, um, these females are here, where are they from, right? Or, oh my gosh, how the hell does Cardi going from looking like this to going like this or what do I feed them and stuff like that. And also I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be like diving deeper in like, why bloods or pedigrees or the structure of the dog like why that shit matters so so much top and bottom from the mom and dad and grandparents from both sides as well right why it matters so so much just for you guys just because you guys are always asking me like what do i feed my dogs i'm kind of tired i'm honestly i'm like i'm not tired of at, like answering or being honest with you guys but this video hopefully i can i can dive in deeper i know i'm still gonna get those questions honestly but it's okay. I just really wanted to dive deeper in with this with this subject, just because if the dog the dog's got to have it, if the dog doesn't have it, it doesn't have it. You know, I'm just I'm just gonna throw that out there, right? And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Love y'all. Yeah, so yeah, as I was saying, I just wanted to really say, uh, rest in peace to King James, man. And um, that one kind of hurts me too, just because even though I don't own him, it still hurts, man. I, I know how that shit feels of losing a dog, especially your, like one of your main ones or you know one of your favorites or your OGs. You know, like Toxic, for example, is like my OG, man. And I know when he passes away in four to five years, you know, he's still he's halfway there. Hopefully, it's not even sooner than that. I know, like, fuck, I'm gonna be des devastated for realsies, you guys. And, uh, yeah, man, that, that shit sucks because with King James, I do have one of his blood. I do have his blood with Mochi. Mochi, man, she looks real good. She looks like a male, you guys. And uh, the only female that I have, that only dog in my yard that carries chocolate. Now, I really do want a really chocolate dog, too, a chocolate try. That's also, like, one of my favorite colors when it comes with... Uh, having a French Bulldog. Um, so if you guys are asking me what kind of colors I like, it's gonna be full blue, right? A full on blue, no try or nothing at all. No Brendo, just a full blue, like a silverback gorilla, or a blue try, or a try, and a chocolate try. No full chocolate, a chocolate try. <laughs> so I'm really picky when it comes with the colors of my dogs. So yeah. Um, it really does suck because I, I really did want to kind of bring Mochi back to King James and I know I know it's gonna cost more money but since uh, plans have changed uh, I will think about what I'm gonna do in the future with Mochi because um, she's she's gonna be bred to Vegeta obviously but um, I really do want that chocolate gene like ASAP right I, I really do want that chocolate try to come out because she carries chocolate and try and blue and all that good stuff so you know it, it's it's okay uh, I'll, I'll discuss i'll discuss about it later uh, what my plans are but that's pretty much it that i wanted to say in this video for in the beginning so rest in peace again king james i know how that shit feels but all right guys so yeah in this video guys i just really wanted to dive deeper in with the topics with pedigree right lots of you guys have actually asked me what do i feed my dogs or is there like or might do i work my dogs out right and first let's talk about like what exactly do i feed my dogs right what exactly do I feed my dogs? And to tell you guys the truth, what I feed my dogs, right, is just diamond kibble. Diamond kibble puppy, diamond kibble chicken and rice. That's exactly what I feed them. And you guys probably thinking that I am lying or I'm straight up capping. But no, it's that's actually what I feed them because feeding them a raw food diet is also one expensive, but also it's just balancing it. It's, it's just, it's a lot, it's really time consuming as well when, you, when you're balancing foods as well. But I'm uh, not saying that I can't do it. I can. But <clears throat> when it comes with these dogs, they've already grown up to be with kibble because I try to give them raw. They they hate raw. <laughs> they hate raw. They're like, Ew, what the hell is this? <laughs> uh, even ground beef as well. They're like, what the fuck? Or even um um I tried even beef liver too. They're like, damn, this shit smells nasty. So they've been growing up eating processed food. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that, that's that's pretty much it, you guys. So. And hold up, guys, hold up. All right, so as I was saying, pretty much that, yeah, a lot of you guys were actually, um, like, 
question me like what exactly i feed my dogs and that's that's pretty much it man they my dogs don't like the they don't like raw diet stuff and i was feeding them that beef liver and they were like this stuff is nasty so if it's not broken you know don't, don't fix it right because as i always said people are gonna lie to you right i, I want to throw this knowledge out here of people trying to sell you supplements on how to make your dogs bigger and stuff like that and how to make them more bulky or beefier or buff like tanks you know i just i just wanted to say man just don't buy into that stuff right don't buy into that stuff it if the dogs got it the dogs got it man yeah i i'm, I'm okay with telling you guys this because one I don't care if there's increased competition. I really do want you to have really nice dogs as well. If if it's if that's your focus, right? If that's your focus, if you really want to have nice dogs, I'm okay with showing you guys, telling you guys this now. It's the truths, right? The truths about having these nice dogs, right? Buff dogs. Not saying like linky dogs aren't nice too. No, no, no. I'm I'm saying if it's within your vision of having muscular dogs, feel free. I, I'm I am okay with telling you guys this knowledge, man. I am not greedy. I am not greedy when it comes with telling you guys this knowledge because I want more competition. So therefore, I know that I can sell my dogs for this price when I'm asking for it, right? You know, I, I'm that confident, right? So it's definitely okay, right? It's totally okay. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so yeah, let me give you guys an example, right? Um, let's say for example, like Missy. Oh no, not Missy. Uh, uh, Cardi B, for example, right? I'm, I'm gonna show you guys videos of Cardi B in the beginning, right? Of how she looked before. And honestly, you guys, in the beginning, we were, I was about to sell her. Uh, my dad wanted me to sell her, but I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, dad, hold up, bro, hold up. We don't want to sell her quite yet, man, because we don't know how she's turning out quite yet. We got to believe in the blood. We got to believe in the blood, dad, for real. My dad was like, all right, you know what? All right, we'll do it. Because the thing is, females... Their price will always stay high, right? Even from puppies, even till they're at least two years of age, right? Their price will always stay the same. Or even when they're adults, their price will be even higher as well. Because time is on your side, right? When they're older, they can actually breed ASAP quicker. You can have litters quicker. I just want to throw it out there, right? Time is really valuable. So if you guys look at Cardi from before, like really she didn't really have the muscles like she did have like half today and i don't even work my dogs out like that my dogs man they are fucking lazy couch potatoes man lazy couch potatoes really um they don't really do much you guys even ask me do i work my dogs out i don't really work my dogs out or do nothing at all um they just look like that i can probably make them look better and enhance that look right um I can probably do that, so I might have to start doing that for the for the dog show, just to enhance the characteristics of them a little bit. But at the moment, right now, I'm gonna tell you guys the truth. I don't really do much to these dogs. Um, they are lazy couch potatoes. They look like this, and it is all within their genetics. It's not what I feed them the supplements or anything like that. It's exactly how they look like, and that's pretty much it. You just have to believe in the blood, and I'm not saying for you to believe in my blood. No. I want you to believe in your blood as much as I do with mine because that's the thing that matters most when it comes with having dogs. The most important thing of having a dog is just loving your dogs. Love your own dogs. And I was actually talking to uh, David Rodriguez and uh, he just locked in with me um, that even though he knows that his two boys right, are linky and I, I'm going to tell you guys straight up because I came from the linky side too, right? I can talk, I can talk about linky dogs because I came from it. He knows, like, man, these are his boys. These are his homies. Just like Toxic with me. Me and Toxic. He is my homie. I am not going to sell him, even though I don't use him anymore in my program. He is my damn best friend. He's my best friend. There's no way I'm selling his ass because they're just your homies. And it's okay to have a, to have dogs that you just promote solely, right? It, and sometimes, it, some people, they tell me, too, that they sold their whole yard just to get that one badass dog. They have to make sacrifices, right? Um, I don't think I have the heart to do that. And I don't think David has the heart to do that as well. But, hey, it's just the way it is. And sometimes people just strive just, just to move forward in business, right? But with me, I, I don't think I have the heart to do that. I'm going to tell you guys, man, I am weak mentally. I'm a pussy, bro. I am a pussy. I can't do that, man. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's also what I wanted to talk to you guys about, man. Just 
you know the, the pedigree matters so so much man just like top and bottom right top and bottom roach for example roach man he was the last pick of the litter and you guys don't believe me that he is the last pick of the litter and you guys can actually go ahead over to my uncle yogi's page where i actually got roach and vegeta from right yogi.empires.559 on instagram i remember his whole instagram and <laughs> those are where that, that that primitive blood with that mr t blood that i actually got from roach and vegeta's blood where i actually got it specifically from i don't care uh, you guys can go ahead and support them. I don't care. I, I love to support everybody, man. It's about supporting with each other. So, yeah. So with with that, um, th that blood right there is stacked top and bottom as well. Even from the mom side, from the dad side, from the grandparent side, from the grandma, from the grandpa, on even both sides, right? Just the whole thing just has to matter. None of that blood was ever washed down with anything linky. It was never touched by anything of unknown, of anything linky or mediocre. It was all just stacked top and bottom, which is why the reason why I pulled the trigger. I'm like, all right, right? That's the reason why it matters so much. And it, it doesn't have to say for me as well. It can go the same for the bloods like the, the Grinch, the Seuss, the Dawn, the Tubbs, the Chuckies. I know all those bloods. I've seen all those dogs, and man, I love those. I love those pedigrees as well. They just look so good in their own way. And honestly, you you can't go wrong with any of these bloods that you, when when you, when you pick. So I always tell you guys when when it comes with buying a dog, research your dogs beforehand, right? And when, when especially when they ask me like, what should I breed my female to? I don't always tell them you should breed it to my boy. No, I I, I always tell them. Go look around for some bloods out there that, that you may possibly like. Research. See what you like, right? You don't have to breed to me. I don't care because, you know, I, I know I can always do it sub service all the, anytime I want. Um, but I want you to be happy with what you want to, to be, right? I want you to be happy. I want you to have your own vision when it comes to having these dogs, right? That's the thing that matters the most. As I said, when you comes with having dogs, love your own dog, love your own blood, love your own pedigree. That's the thing that matters the most, right? So, when it comes with my blood with um, Cardi, like Cardi B or Mochi or even Reaper, even, yeah, just, they're all related to each other in some way. Uh, and, uh, yeah, some of you guys actually on Instagram, when I when I actually showed um, Suki and Cypher, I never actually really told y'all their names, Suki and Cypher, right? That blood right there is actually related to Reaper, quite a lot but you guys can kind of see where it kind of throws a hell of a lot different right so even like throwing roach with reaper right reaper is actually this is so complicated Re reaper comes from toxic and letty right toxic and letty so that made reaper so reaper was bred to roach and then roach made um kingpin and raven so th that male that i actually just sold recently i sold that to mo with cool kennels um mo has got that one so i know he's gonna look super nice as well and uh, i'm keeping raven as well i'm keeping that female right there uh, to do my my two-time line breed because i know it's all within the blood man i i don't i don't i don't do money litters at all i really don't do money litters um money litters i i i just don't like doing that you know i i always like to breed for quality 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 so you know the reason why i don't i'm just this. the reason why i don't do money litters is because i'm always trying to make a litter that's always trying to outproduce every generation within my my yard right that's, that's pretty much it just to briefly summarize um so with roach and reaper it threw a lot different than roach to uh reaper's mom letty right which made those two puppies that you guys have seen right that made those two you guys are curious like where the hell are those guys from what blood is that and that blood right there is um it's it's that primitive blood right roach and vegeta's blood going on to um Ligi and like B boy, B boy is a really nice dog. He is he's a Legi blood going in with a um, Heartbreaker, right? Heartbreaker is super nice too, right? Um, yeah. So within my yard, guys, I have a lot of bloods. I really do have a lot of bloods, and 
uh, all all within my yard. Like all my females all have a slight variation of different bloods, but also kind of the same too. So my foundation's already there. It's just a matter of fact whether or not if I can execute, if I can execute out producing my my main stud right now, right? That's pretty much it. So that's 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 what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, just because like man. You guys are always asking me, am I ever going to branch out? And yes, I told you guys before, I am going to branch out within probably the next two to three or maybe even maybe even four years. So it's going to take a while. It honestly is going to take a while before I branch off to any other type of blood. And plants can change. I am looking at like Dawn. Dawn. I don't know how to pronounce it. Dawn. And uh, Tubbs. Tubbs is really nice as well um that's that's that blood mainly primarily comes from uh like that seuss and grinch i think that's where it comes from and um yeah it's super nice i wish i actually live in cali so that way i can have connections to to talk to people like what kind of bloods are out there um where the original founders are All right just to just to get it because it's always better to 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 talk personally like where does that blood come from right um it's always better to give you a general idea what is it really from right but I, I think i do know a general idea where they actually come from which is why i've always i've done so much research on what kind of dogs are out there right what am i competing with <laughs> not necessarily it, well it is kind of like competition but what kind of styles do you want to pick and like right i can say all them styles are really good right all those styles are really good in their own way and as I said, you, you can't go wrong with any of them styles. You can't go wrong, man. It's just, they're just that good. And say for example, like Vegeta, he is good in his own way. I like Vegeta more than I like XB, right? The reason why I like Vegeta more, Vegeta's blood, that DK blood is because I like that head. I like that bigger head. Not saying that XB's got a small head, no. I'm, I'm saying they look good in their own way, but I like my head looking more like a, more like a like a fatty type of dog right it's just to explain it briefly like that so <laughs> so hopefully i'm not putting a lot of information on you guys hopefully you guys are understanding of where i'm actually coming from and hopefully i can clear some things up when it comes with um like what i feed my dogs or do i work my dogs out or what my bloods are coming from so it, it every little thing it, it matters a lot and this is only like a brief portion of what i'm explaining to you guys like there's so much in depth that you can actually go into this in this topic right it <laughs> there's there's so much more like oh my gosh it's crazy man but that's pretty much it hopefully uh, i can kind of explain to you guys just a little bit of things that um that to clear things up with where my bloods come from or how do i keep producing good females right and uh it's just it's just knowing the basics of these dogs and the biology especially uh not just from experience from street knowledge but even learning from a biology standpoint as well with what i've learned in school so hopefully you guys enjoy the content that's pretty much it that i wanted to talk about today with you guys love you guys peace Rise up and